follower count and connection count on LinkedIn. Where do those numbers appear on your profile and are they on by default? We're gonna cover all of that and more in this video. My name is Lowell Brown, I'm from Going Social. I run a digital marketing agency in Toronto, Canada. I help small business owners with their digital marketing needs, including Facebook ads, social media marketing like LinkedIn marketing, and other digital marketing services. Now today we're talking about LinkedIn and I've had a couple questions on some recent LinkedIn videos that I've produced here on my YouTube channel. People wanted to know, hey, how do I see my follower count or how do I add my follower count on my profile? So we're gonna cover that today and I'm gonna show you my LinkedIn profile and where you can find those numbers because they're actually there by default. So let's get into screen sharing mode right now and we'll cover all of that. Let's go, here we go. So we're here on my LinkedIn feed page. Now, I know that some people get confused because when they open up LinkedIn, they think that this is actually their profile and what it looks like. And as you can see, when I'm looking around here, I, I don't actually see my follower account. I don't see my connection count. And that actually appears differently for other people that aren't connected to you. And I'm gonna show you a couple examples here. But if you wanted to see those numbers, there's a couple spots on your profile where you can find it. The first thing to do is you can click on your name here on the left side. That's one way to get to your profile. And you can also click under here, view profile. So let's just go out and we're gonna look at our profile. Once your profile loads, you're gonna notice that by default, it's actually right here, top front and center under your name. So you'll see you've got a certain follower count and you've got connection count. The other place you can actually see it is if you scroll down and you look at activity, you're gonna see that number here. Now I did wanna point out something that's a little bit unique. So you'll notice that if I look at my own profile, I can see those numbers here and I can click on it and I can open up and I can see who are my actual followers? Who am I following? and who are my followers. And when I look at my followers, I can see who they are and I can choose to follow them or not follow them. Now this is unique to me, to my connections. So what I wanna show you now is one of my clients and what their profile looks like. So if I click on Mike over here and I open up, you'll see that on his profile, we can see his connection or his follower account but I can't actually click it. Why? Because that was private. When I did it on mine, that was my own followers that I could see. You can't go in and see somebody else's followers. You can't see who they are to also follow them. You can somewhat see their connections, but their followers, you can't. So again, you can see your follower count right under your name, and you can also see it under your activity. And that's how you find your followers. Now there's one other feature that I wanted to show you, and it could be an adjustment that you need to make in your settings. So let's go back into screen sharing mode and I'm gonna show you how to get in to make sure that these settings are adjusted just in case you still can't see that on your profile. So let's get into that right now. We'll go back to screen sharing mode and I'll show you how to get that on. Okay, so we're back here in screen sharing mode and now all you need to do is go back up to where your icon is, where your picture is, click on the drop down, and then what you wanna do is go into settings and privacy. That's gonna open up a new page here, and on the left side, what you wanna click on is visibility. Now this controls what people can see on your profile. If you scroll all the way to the bottom here, you're gonna see this tag for followers. Click on that, and then there are a couple different things that you might see here. First of all, who can follow you? So you wanna adjust this. Um, you might have it set to only your connections, meaning that once you've connected with someone, can they also choose to follow you? This is used to be how LinkedIn was set up. I have mine set up that anyone can follow me on LinkedIn. So typically what happens is when you connect with someone, they will automatically start seeing your posts. But if you don't connect with them or you, um, or, or you don't make that connection, they can also follow you if you have this turned on. So this allows anyone to follow me. They don't have to be connected to me. The other thing is that you can add that that button on your profile. 
So if enabled, follow will be the primary action when members view your profile. So if someone isn't connected with me, instead of seeing that connect button, by default, the button they will see on my profile is to follow. Okay, so those are a couple uh, settings that I just wanted to make sure that you see on your profile um, that you've set in case you can't see things on your LinkedIn profile. So that's it for today's quick LinkedIn marketing tip. Be sure to like and subscribe below so you get notified the next time I release another video here on YouTube. And if you'd like some more of these LinkedIn marketing tips, click on the link up here that'll take you to my playlist for other LinkedIn marketing videos that I think you're gonna enjoy. So stay tuned if you wanna see a couple other videos, you can catch some that are gonna show right after this video over here. And I'll see you in the next video. That's it for now. Bye.